Hey guys, so my kids have always been fascinated by the weather. So today we thought it'd be fun to do five weather-related science experiments involving rain, lightning, clouds, tornadoes, and even the sun. Here we go. So first up, we've got cloud in a jar. For this, you'll need a jar with a lid, hairspray, hot water, and ice. Okay, you're gonna start by adding hot water to your jar, a quick spritz of hairspray. Done. And then put your upside down lid with ice on top and watch your cloud form inside. I see it. Okay, so what's happening is some of the hot water is gonna form water vapor that rises and when it hits the cold air from the lid is gonna condense. However, this only forms a cloud if it can condense with something like dust pollution or in our case, hairspray. Lift the lid and the cloud is going to escape. Woo! It's like magic potion. Next up, tornado in a bottle. For this, you'll need two two liter bottles and what is called a cyclone connector. I'm pretty sure you can DIY this, but I got a pack of them very cheap, same day online. So you're gonna wanna fill one bottle, connect with the second, turn it over. You'll see water coming out, give it a little circular motion. And how cool is that? It looks just like a tornado. It's actually technically a vortex, but my kids loved it. Oh. <laughs> Guys, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like watching your bathtub run out. <laughs> they always wait for that moment. They won't get out before that. And you can add liquid dishwasher soap and glitter for even more of a tornado effect. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Next up, raining cotton balls. You'll need a jar, a smaller clear cup, cotton balls, and optional blue dye to give your water a little color. Okay, so you're gonna wanna start by poking holes in the plastic cup, add some cotton balls, and then place it into your bigger cup and pour the water in. And as soon as the clouds are heavy enough, it's gonna start to rain. We're gonna make it rain. <laughs> And you like it so much. And then as a fun little twist, put your hand on top of it and the rain stops because the upward air pressure is actually stronger than the gravity pulling the liquid down. Release it and it goes again. Next up, static electricity lightning. You'll just need a balloon and a fluorescent light bulb. Start by rubbing the balloon on your head for two minutes, which builds up a negative charge. Rub the balloon in your hair. <laughs> Turn off the light, put the two together, and it's quick, but you'll see a flicker of light. Oh! <laughs> and what's happening is the positive ions are heading towards the balloon, the negative ones away, and they collide together, forming the light, similar to how lightning is formed. It's a little more complicated than that, but that's the best I can do. I did it! Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! I got a little more volume now. <laughs> Next up, we've got solar power s'mores. You'll need a pizza box, plastic wrap, aluminum foil, black paper, and of course, s'mores ingredients. Start by cutting a hole in the top of the box. Lift that up and cover with aluminum foil. Place the black paper inside the box, your ingredients on top, and cover that with wrap. So Tess and I did this earlier in the day and it worked awesome. You may be wondering, would the chocolate melt anyway? Um, probably, but we did have a thermometer and it was substantially warmer inside our little oven. Look, Tess, it's over 90 degrees. That's so hot. Yeah, my last more. All right, guys, well, I hope you give these a try. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.